Hello and welcome to Political Influences from What's In It For Africa with me, Uzo Madu. Central Europe and Africa are not usually common conversation partners, but when it comes to migration, they certainly are. Germany has had one of the most open-door migration policies in the region, whilst its Central European partners, such as the Czech Republic and Hungary and Poland, have been doing the opposite, essentially closing the door to migrants and refugees. However, in stark contradiction to migration, trade and investment between African countries and Central Europe has been on the up. For example, South African brewer S.A.B. Miller controls around half of the Czech beer market and up to 30% market share in Hungary. Also, Poland with its Go Africa program has increased trade and investment with Southern and Eastern African countries by 25%. And joining us on the show is Eric Alera. Previously, he was the deputy of the Polish Regional Assembly and also worked as a policy advisor in a European Parliament dealing with international cooperation issues. Eric Alera, thank you for joining us on Political Influences. Thank you for inviting me. Poland. Um, we see that the previous government, the civic platform, a more liberal kind of conservative party, I would say, launched the Go Africa program back in 2013. And after two years, it boosted trade with African countries by about 25%. Why the interest, do you think, in Africa from Poland? Due to many uh, embargoes that uh, Russia put in the Polish um, market, that's uh, Polish products that pu uh, push the government to continue the former the actual government to continue what was adopted by the former government, for example, the Go Africa uh, program. So, which is in fact uh, a way to go uh, to search for new uh, destination, uh, new trade destinations. A new trade destination is uh, for them, for the moment, Africa. And that's why uh, Poland, the Polish government started to be interested in, uh, in, in this direction. But we should also know that um, this is not uh, the first interest of Poland in Africa. This is, uh, the, uh, Poland is already in Africa. The Polish companies are also in, uh, were already in Africa uh, many years ago. Uh, the thing is that uh, proportionally to uh, French companies or German companies or even Belgian companies, of course, there isn't no cooperation, mm -hmm. but uh, they, they are well uh, interested in, in, in Africa and will uh, like to uh, foster the co cooperation between Africa and Poland. Okay, and, and bringing it more up to date, um, we know that under the new government in Poland, led by the Law and, and Justice Party, which is considerably more right of the political spectrum and, and more conservative, it has reflected a move towards a more inward-looking Poland in terms of its relationship, for instance, with the EU. Now, with this uh, move towards, you know, looking inwards, what do you expect to see, or are you concerned, I think is a better question, about a reduced focus on Africa from Poland? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think, uh, in my point of view, that uh, the um, the direction that uh, the former government took uh, in terms of cooperation with uh, Africa um, is continued, of course, uh, by the actual government. Mm -hmm. Even uh, uh, we have, a, a, um, um, let's say, uh, uh, extreme right uh, government, mm -hmm. but uh, they cannot change the and they, they will not change the direction because it's in the interest of the whole country, and uh, and the police companies need uh, uh, some new direction to to grow, and Africa is uh, the real uh, the, the great moment, a uh, uh, great place for um, uh, police companies, which are really very competitive and uh, and. That's why the government support fully uh, the Go Africa programs, uh, which uh, was launched in 2013, and will be uh, will continue so in my in my point of view. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. And moving on to the current discussions um, around migration, we know that the central Mediterranean crossing from Libya to Italy is the most common um, for those coming from African countries, mainly Nigeria, Eritrea, Sudan, Gambia and, and Ivory Coast. Um, and we see that about more than, I think, 115,000 people have already come over this year. Um, and the EU's response has been development aid in the form of the EU Trust Fund for Africa, 1.8 billion euros, but also investment. So uh, mobilising around 44 billion euros of private investments um, so that investors will get a guarantee against the risk of starting a business um, outside of Europe, particularly in Africa. With these um, policy proposals in mind, these actions being taken by the EU, what is your assessment of the EU's response to managing the influx of African migrants and refugees into Europe? Uh, what do you think of these policy proposals? Uh, first of all, I think that uh, uh, the European Commission has done um, a lot of uh, to uh, in terms of cooperation with African states, uh, but um, uh, not enough. Well, in my point of view, the um, money uh, is not uh, the only answer of uh, this uh, issue, this migration issue. We we have to um, to think about uh, how can we uh, keep uh, uh, the, 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 the refugees uh, in Africa by creating workplaces, uh, by giving them jobs, by uh, putting more uh, uh, money and focus on, on, on education. Uh, because um, Everybody is, uh, and, or, or, and, or, and the most important thing is uh, um, the instabilities uh, what we have in, uh, in, uh, in Africa. Uh, the, the, everywhere we, you can see the situation, of course, in Libya or in, uh, in, in Mali um, or even uh, in Eastern Africa which is, and of course in Nigeria, which is a, a big problem for the whole continent. Mm -hmm. This is some kind of uh, a cancer. And uh, if we cannot stop uh, the, these uh, instabilities in our countries, in Africa, uh, we will not uh, have, uh, if we don't have peace, we will not have the possibility, uh, even with uh, a billion of billions, we will not be able to to stop the migration issues, yeah. And I suppose, um, referring to a recent visit from Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, to Mali, Niger and, um, and Ethiopia, she said that the African Union in particular should do more um, uh, to stop migration to Europe. Would you agree with such a statement that actually the African Union should be doing more? I mean, uh, it's... Uh it's a big polemic, uh, of course. Um, we can say, in my point of view, we have to do more, all of us, Europe and Africa, because they are going, they are coming to Europe. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, there is, uh, the, the, the responsibilities are divided here, of course. There is a the part of responsibility of Africa, and part of responsibility of uh, Europe. And, uh, uh, in, in this case, every uh, partner in this issue should do more, of course, mm -hmm. but not only Africa has to do more, because the situation um, has its origin. The origin is not only the where they're coming from, but where they're going as well. Mm -hmm. So this is a, 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 a problem for Africa and uh, Europe, we have to to have a, a common answer in this issue. Okay, and now there is part of the refugee and, and migra migrant or migration debate really centred on establishing legal migration routes or more of them and, and making it easier. And this is largely coming from the uh, NGO community. To what extent do you think 
the conversation around migration should really about be about legal migration routes, trying to make it easier for people to, to move across borders. Um, we have a similar conversation going on on the continent um, about you know visa free, free travel and international internal integration so um, do you think that this is the way that the conversation should be should be going I mean uh, this is a very uh, I'm not agree with the term of uh, legal migration um, there isn't legal migration and for me there isn't illegal migration uh, of course, from the beginning, we have a situation that we, uh, which is uh, global. We have to uh, to resolve it. But uh, we, illegal migration, uh, we are all migrants. All of us, we are migrants. We we we, we are here. We are just uh, for 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 a while here. I mean for. I want to say that um, uh, we are just renting this uh, earth for for a few moments. So migration uh, movement, right for movement, should be for everyone. But of course, uh, we should also put some rules to facilitate the movement of people, but not calling it legal migration. For me, I'm not agree with this term. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to know um, your thoughts about um, brain drain. So the idea that um, it's quite evident that a lot of the most educated and the most skillful people um, do leave these countries um, in order to find, you know, more opportunities abroad. Um, and this isn't just happening in, in the African context, but it's a bit more prominent. Um, if we talk about the migration from Africa to Europe. Now, is this issue a concern to you? As a member of the African diaspora, um, would you say that you might even be part of the problem of brain drain? Uh, yeah, we, for many years, uh, brain drain is uh, a problem, of course, especially for our, co our continent. Uh, for Africa, but uh, I think that uh, no one, we African diaspora here, uh, we can also, of course, uh, contribute uh, for the development of, uh, uh, of, of Africa, but the main contributors of uh, the development of Africa and who can really change Africa are uh, the African themselves who live in Africa, and especially the young generation. I believe that there is a very intelligent Africans in Africa who are ready and can take the future of the continent. It's just that we need to give them this opportunity. I mean, we, the leaders, they are uh, actual leaders in Africa. They, they, they should know that the new generation, the new Africans, they are the future of the, uh, they are the, the, the hope and the future of the future Africa. Would that mean that there is a responsibility on African diaspora to contribute to the development of the continent? Would you, would you say that actually we have a responsibility in order to contribute to, to developing the continent economically, socially, you know, we have a responsibility? Yes, for sure, uh, we have a, a responsibility to contribute, to know where we come from. Um, and we, and that, that this is very important because if we don't know our uh, origin, where we are coming from, and this uh, we are going to be lost. But uh, that's why we have a responsibility. But as I uh, mentioned, the main responsibility is in Africa. Nobody will come from outside Africa to develop Africa. I don't believe on it.
Okay. Well, yeah. thank you very much for your time, Eric you. Alira, on Political Influences. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching Political Influences and be sure to keep up to date with What's In It For Africa's news and analysis on our website, Facebook and Twitter pages. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Afroland TV and Quick TV Africa.